how to ensure content is share worthy. Now, just because you create and publish content doesn't mean your prospects will share it. First and foremost, your content needs to be share worthy. Now, here's the thing. Your average person tends to have some share-worthy capital banked on social media, on their blogs, and elsewhere. This means that if they share something with their friends that is not all that share-worthy, their friends are going to allow it at first. And every person gets to share a few duds before their friends take notice. If someone shares too many duds, their friends may unfollow them. And what's more, social media platforms like Facebook tends to figure out what users want to see and then they deliver more of that type of content. And likewise, the Facebook algorithm takes notice if a user isn't viewing, liking, sharing, or commenting on a particular type of content or a particular friend's content. In other words, if a user is sharing a lot of dud content that his friends are not interacting with, then eventually those friends will see less of that user's content. And what this means is that your audience is acutely aware that they can't share duds, even if you give them an incentive to do so, as that will waste their sharing or social media capital. Now, well, at one time, people may have shared everything. We all remember the email forwards. Smart users are much more selective today, and they're not going to pass everything along. However, they really want to share truly share-worthy content. So if they share something cool, then they'll bank more of this sharing or social media capital, meaning their friends will see and interact with more of their content. So, if you create content that rocks your user's world in some way, they're going to share it, and your content will go viral. So, check that your content includes as many of the following characteristics as possible. Is your content unique in some way? If you're sharing the same old stuff that everyone else is sharing, then your users have no incentive to pass it along. That's why you need to provide something fresh for your users. Now, this doesn't mean your content needs to be something that no one else has ever seen before, ever. What this means is that some component of it should be unique. So for example, you can include a new tip. Again, you don't have to create an entirely new strategy. Just one fresh tip will get people's attention. Now, offer a new twist on an old method. So if you've discovered a new use for a strategy or a product, share it. Now, present content in a new way. Now, a good way to do this is by creating a formula or system. Say, for example, people generally used the same strategy for creating sales letters, but then someone came along and called it the ADA formula. You can coin a new phrase. So, for example, you've seen phrases like the Google slap. Now, the slap means losing rankings or getting banned wasn't something new. However, the terminology was new, which made people sit up and pay attention. You can also share a story, case study, or something else personal. So even though someone else may share a case study or story, remember that no two stories are alike. Yours will always be unique. Up next is the content extraordinarily useful or does it solve a problem now when people see your content and you want them to pause for a moment and say whoa or wow to themselves then that's when you actually put the information to work 
they should be really impressed with how well it works. So in other words, your content needs to be really useful. Some of your very best stuff. Even better is if it provides quick results for people as then can put it to use and see how well it works immediately. Now, is your content quick and easy to consume? Now, as I've said elsewhere, your audience has a short attention span. If they see that your content is long and or difficult to consume, they probably won't even bother starting to read or watch it. And this means you won't get very many views, much less shares. So a good guideline is to create content that can be consumed and understood in just a few minutes. So for example, you can keep your videos around three minutes or less and keep text-based content to less than a thousand words if possible as the average reader can read about 200 words per minute. Is the content presented in an aesthetically pleasing way? The first impressions count. If a prospect takes one look at your article, video, or other content and it looks difficult to consume, the prospect won't even bother. If, for example, a lot of readers will simply give up on data-heavy content as it takes too much energy to wade through it all. To make this content more aesthetically pleasing, easier to consume, and easy to share, you can put it in the form of a high-quality graphic. And finally, does the content look professional? Now again, first impressions count. If your content is riddled with errors, your audience is going to put a low value on your content. And they're not going to be in a hurry to click your links, share your content, or take any sort of action. So be sure your content makes a great first impression in terms of both design and polished content. And specifically, Hire a pro to prove your most important content. You can post a project on Upwork.com to find a proofreader or search for a proofreader using Google. Also, hire a pro to make your content pretty. So for example, hire a designer to create a design template that you can use for your cheat sheet. 